What did he possibly draw that was so inappropriate? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, I'm Simply Unique and you are watching Evelyn's Legacy, the A to Z Baby Challenge, episode 9. So, in the previous episode you guys might have seen that Bayleaf and Abra has moved out, they have turned into young adults and we have two slots open and Evelyn is pregnant once again with baby number 8 or if we're lucky, baby number 8 and 9. So yeah, the kids are growing up, you guys will see far fetched and cool dog behind her and yeah we cannot avoid the elephant in the room Evelyn has a huge pimple on her nose so uh, yeah that is uh, what is news in this series so far so if you haven't checked out any of the other episodes or you've missed something I will leave the link for the playlist in the description so that you guys can go and check it out if you want to get up to speed with everything so with all of these things out of the way let's get started okay so yeah everyone is here you guys might have noticed we are in a new house in a new town we live in Magnolian promenade as you guys will see um, I've placed some other residential lots over here let's just pause before something chaotic happens um, so if you guys remember my hundred baby challenge um, you will remember Mila Parker, which is Evelyn's mother who passed away when Evelyn was two years old. So if you haven't heard the background story of uh, Mila Parker and Evelyn and um, how everything came to be, be sure to go and check out the first video where I create Evelyn and I narrate the story for um, how she came to be here and everything like that. So yeah, this house actually belonged to Mila Parker when she was busy with the 100 baby challenge so it looks somewhat different you guys will see I did do some adjustments here and there I even took the liberty of putting some cars in like on the sidewalk because I felt like that looks more lived in I'm trying to experiment here and there so yeah uh, so for the outside we have a little swimming pool the main reason why we moved out of Sulani <laughs> was because the kids did not want to stop swimming in the ocean and I love it I really love it but for this challenge it drives me insane whenever they do whatever they want to and I'm trying to tell them to do something so we still have a pool for them to swim in but uh, yeah hopefully they won't swim as much and then we have a little space for a garden this is just like a I don't know really what I want to do here yet <laughs> kind of area <laughs> so yeah so when we take off the roof we're gonna start over here we have a bathroom for Evelyn you guys will see um, we have Evelyn's bedroom I also put up the family portrait I think that looks nice so that we can stay up to date with who is in the family or in the household so far then over here let's just go like this over here is like a little reading area I should probably place like a chair or something there uh, so here we have like an office area and of course we have the kitchen over here <laughs> my camera work is terrible so this is part of the kitchen where Evelyn is sitting at the moment I tried to have it look as nice as possible I did keep all of her furniture you guys will see but I did change the color swatches so it was like a light blue when we lived in Solani but uh yeah and we had some extra money so I bought a little few um, decorations uh, clutter and stuff like that um, let's just do it like this here we have the living room area slash TV room and uh, if you guys remember I am taking pictures of the kids I am still to take pictures of uh, Dedo, Bayleaf and um, Evie yeah those three I have to take pictures of them and add them to the wall so the background is obviously going to be different but it doesn't really matter um, I did size down the paintings or the portraits a little bit because I didn't like that they were so big and taking up so much space so hopefully we will get as many pictures up as we can we will even have space here to put some I will move these if we have to so yeah um, and there's obviously more space in the house um, 
to add pictures so here we have another bathroom okay so Dido is in the bath so we're not gonna bother her so you guys might probably wonder where is the kids room so uh, we have the famous basement down here <laughs> <laughs> and I know it sounds creepy having the kids in the basement but it does look very friendly and you know lived in I try to have it look nice and colorful so um, I should probably put up more paintings and stuff on the wall but uh, Dayton what are you doing in Dodo's room? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Dayton is Evelyn's younger brother so he just came by for a little visit and he seems to have made himself at home in Ditto's room but yeah so this is Ditto's room um, it kind of looks like that then of course we have the toddler's room over here and you guys will see I tried to keep the same color uh, theme so it's blue and red and uh, we have a bathroom here so I kind of you know I should probably make a doorway over here but it's okay the dog can just walk the extra mile <laughs> no worries so here we have the nursery then we have a little girl's bedroom with two beds we have the greenhouse down here because if it's gonna snow and things like that I would still want uh, Evelyn to be doing gardening so that's why I have a little space up top and um, outside and then we have this little greenhouse here so uh, a little unfortunate event happened and I lost my um, my snapdragons and stuff so she will have to get new ones um luckily i do have some seed packets here so we will fix that um i made a boo-boo with the building <laughs> um i placed the swimming pool here and then it made everything messed up so yeah that happened then of course we have the boys uh, bedroom over here for some boys to sleep in and i tried to keep it nice and um you know not over cluttered and then i did a little thing Thing with this wall over here and I kind of like how it looks because I feel like boys would like to put their accomplishments up here so I did this little thing maybe they're doing sports and a lot of posters and paintings and stuff like that so yeah I kind of like how that looks and then we have a bathroom over here and here is Bayleaf's room. This is actually for Bayleaf and Evie, so they both can sleep here. So that is basically the house. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> so the kids, I think, came from school. So let's start with Charmander. Does he have any homework? Uh, he doesn't have any homework. Does Ditto have any? Yeah, she has homework, so she's gonna do that. Evie, Evie, did you do your homework? Evie is four to ten. So, well, I don't care. <laughs> you are not gonna tell me that you're four to ten. Where are you? What are you ten about, anyways? Age of breakout. Really? You're gonna get a zit and you're four to tens to do your homework. Get over it! I get off the surgery table looking like freaking Shrek! What are you so sensitive about, man? I mean, he doesn't even have a breakout yet and look at him. He's mad at the world for no reason. <laughs> okay, so Evie and Ditto are doing their homework. Let's have Evelyn just come and uh, clean up. Um, put away just trying to clean up a little bit around the house put away um okay so ditto is finished yeah i know so what's wrong with her let's see uh oh my gosh okay ditto we need you to go use the toilet so that you don't have an accident <laughs> and uh then you can go and get something like um get leftovers i guess to sort out that and then you can come and uh what the tv is broken no what okay you know what evelyn um hire repair service i guess we don't want you to shock because you are pregnant i know that might not be a thing but you know we don't want to take any chances so uh did i use the toilet let's see if she's feeling she's feeling better but she still didn't have any fun so and she's still hungry so she's gonna get some food no problem okay so Evie is finished eating 
I almost thought he was still busy with. What are you doing? Why is everyone needing to pee but they can't just go themselves? Why are you heartbroken? That really hurts. Evie's heart feels like it has been crushed into a million pieces. Why? Did he like have a secret girlfriend we didn't know about? Oh, Evie. Oh, Evie. <laughs> Yeah, luckily his, his shirt was hanging over it. I forgot to put back the streamer side version of Wicked Worms. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you guys didn't see anything, right? You didn't see anything, right? You know what? I am gonna have Evie serve dinner. Uh, he's gonna help out in the house. He's gonna make vegetable dumplings. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at him. It's like, why do I have to make the food in the house? Isn't there like someone else who can do this? You know what, Evie? No. You guys need to start helping out a little bit more. You're just eating all the food and you're not doing anything. So I'm very interested to see how that food is gonna taste. I hope he does not poison us. And I almost forgot to tell you guys that I actually gave Evelyn a makeover. So that is why she looks so different. Uh, if you guys were wondering, because I'm bad at this, I forgot to tell you guys. I did tell you guys on Twitter though. I did do that much, so... It is 6 a.m. Evelyn is gonna get up. So since Evie was so kind and gracious to make us some food, we are gonna have that for breakfast. So Evelyn is gonna go and call everyone to meal once she wakes up from her beauty sleep. I think everyone, oh yeah, everyone is still asleep. Okay, so Evelyn is awake and guys, she has got a huge belly. She's got a huge belly. That has to be twins, guys. That has to be twins. Is she already in her... Yeah, she's in her second trimester, but she's pretty big for that, hey? I kind of feel like she's a little bit bigger um, than normal for her second trimester, so... But she is super cute. And I can't wait to see what the babies look like or baby look like. I kind of hope that it's twins because that kind of means we're getting closer and closer to our milestone of 26 kids. So since it's love day, we're going to have Evelyn invite Alexandre over so that we can work on their romance. Um, yeah, Evelyn is taking a bath and we're not going to go in there because we know we're going to see something we shouldn't. Okay, so Alexandre is here. We're going to have her, um, let's see, romance. <laughs> She's going to embrace him. Oh, look at her and her beautiful baby belly. Bathroom sandwich. We found Ditto in a bathroom stall today, eating a sandwich. This is unexpected and we're not sure what to make of it, but figured we should call. <laughs> That's just wrong when you're hungry and need to go. <laughs> Excellent time management. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel like Ditto is going through something. And I feel like it would be bad of Evelyn to judge her. I know that it's kind of wrong and um, unhygienic, I guess, if that's a word. <laughs> but, uh, you know, when you're hungry and need to go, um, I think that would be the best thing. Because she's going through something and we don't want to judge her for that. So, we are busy with Alexandre. She's going to flirt with him. We want him to be the next baby daddy after Daniel Mendes. And you guys will see, all of the guys that are in red, um, I made sure to remember who was the daddy. So, why is Edwin in the red? He's not even one of the dads yet. Okay, so, but we will fix that. So, Tony Sims is a father, Brand Noble, Landon Shepard, and Bryce Michaels are the fathers of her daddy so far. And then, of course, Daniel Mendes, which we should probably um, break up with. We will fix that in a jiffy. Maybe we can, can we, like, have them do it? Woohoo with Alexandra. So, she's going to do that. This is just going to help her put it in the bag for <laughs> <laughs> for the next kid that we need to get um so she's like you want to go you know i might be pregnant but i'm not dead <laughs> i'm still alive and well in the love department there's nothing wrong whatsoever so she's just going about it like there's nothing wrong with it yeah evelyn i feel like she has like a little bit of a cold heart at this point 
I feel like she's she's gotten to that point where she don't care anymore. She just <laughs> she don't care about the guy. Let's just say it like that. She cares about her kids, of course, but not about the guys as much. So it's like, damn, Evelyn, you are good. You are really good. They were not kidding around. <laughs> and she's like, who told you that? Well, everyone probably know by now. She's getting around very, very quickly. <laughs> Oh, she's not wasting any time. The kids are back from school, so... <laughs> okay, so she's gonna tell him, you know what, um, that was fun, but you should go now. My kids are back. We don't want them to see you, so use the back door, <laughs> even though we don't have a back door. So at least he's dressed and they will not have the scare of their life. There's some bad food in the fridge, though, so we should clean out spoiled food. And uh, serve lunch, serve some uh, butternut squash soup for the kids. So we're going to have Evelyn plant those and then we have to help Charmander because he can't seem to find a place to do his project. <gasps> How the heck did you get in there, Charmander? Do you know what you're doing to my blood pressure boy? So, uh, he has a project apparently that he needs to take care of. So... Let's see, where are you going, Charmander? You have a project, so we're gonna have you do it over here. Uh, start working sloppily, working carefully, of course. So, Charmander is doing that. Where's Ditto? Ditto, did you even do your homework? I really hope so for your sake, because you didn't do your homework and you have a project? Are you kidding me? You better get started on this. You better. I don't care if you're up all night, you better do this. <gasps> These kids are driving me nuts. Y'all better get big so you can get out of my house because I'm done. I am done. I am sick and tired of your crap. I am sick. I am sick, sick, sick of your <laughs> sick and tired. So, Evie, I have a feeling you didn't do your work too. So, let's see. Yeah, you only have homework. You don't have a project. That's very weird though. Are you going to sit next to your sister? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, Farfetch'd, do you have homework? You have like two homeworks that you didn't do? Mother's ass! Farfetch'd, that's not like you. Let's go check up on the garden quickly. Oh, she can super sell the money fruit. And there are some other stuff that she can uh, super sell. Issue paper flowers in celebration of love day. Give flowers to brighten day or keep flowers to sell. Give flowers to brighten day. Bulldog passed by his teacher, a sad little girl, and the school bully. Nothing felt good enough until he spotted an old man alone in the park. He reached into his backpack only to find that the bouquet of tissue paper flowers has been utterly demolished by the homework while walking. <laughs> Poor Goldag. I guess he wanted to give that paper flowers to the old man. Evie wasn't interested in inviting anyone in particular. Instead, he decided to focus simply on being the life of the party. That's totally how Evie would be. He would try to... <laughs> <laughs> to stand out like a sore thumb while his classmates indulged in awarding banter and wallflowering Evie led the charge for fun who delivered flowers to everyone in attendance who started a chubby llama competition and who talked the teacher into playing the school music Evie of course it was an epic school party that begged only one question whatever did Evie do with the chaperones Oh, Evie. Oh my gosh. Okay, so he was the life of the party. Okay, it looked like a... During free time, Forfetch drew an inappropriate piece of artwork and showed it to the classmates. It caused a lot of giggles and disrupted the rest of the school day. Farfetch'd? What did you draw? What did he draw? We encourage creativity. Take the drawing and punish him. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher is responsible here. <laughs> you know, as much as I want to blame the teacher for this, 
Yeah, she's gonna take the drawing and punish for fish. I, I, I'm just very interested in seeing what he drew. What did he possibly draw that was so inappropriate? Okay, so we're gonna have her tend the garden because there's a lot of stuff to be done. It's the weekend. Evie wraps up this week with a C in school. Is that really satisfactory? Evie, I know you can do better. Forfetch also got a C. He's a C student in the land grab elementary. No, 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 no. Maybe you should stop drawing inappropriate pictures. Then you will <laughs> get a better grade. Oh my gosh. Everyone else is a C student. So Evie has a question for us. But who am I? I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up. Okay, so we get this question a lot from everyone and I'm gonna say no worries you've got time because he's now a teenager. He still has some time. He's like oh can't you just give me another answer? Oh okay is he sick? I think he's sick. Okay so we're gonna have can he like order medicine or should Evelyn do that? He should be able to order stuff. Yeah, medicine, purchase medicine. We're gonna have him purchase one. We're gonna have him drink the medicine. Okay, so that should help. Evie's liberal use of medication when he's not sick has caused some unforgettable side effects. <gasps> I thought he was sick. I thought he was sick. There was like a little medicine thingy next to the emotion. Medicated cure. Evie will have a high chance of being cured before and after this moodlet expires. Over medicated. Did I just over medicate my child? Did I just give him medicine when he didn't even need it? <gasps> Oh my gosh, I really am a bad mother. Okay, so everyone is in bed. That is really good. It was like just um, 12 a.m. So everyone is sleeping. What a lovely, <laughs> what a lovely sight. Okay, so Evelyn just woke up at 1 a.m. and her <laughs> she just went into labor. Fantastic. So we are not even going to go to the hospital since we have like a little nursery over here so we're gonna have evelyn calmly <laughs> proceed to the baby room or the nursery she's gonna have a baby hopefully we have two i would really love to have her have two okay so she's having a baby guys please let it be twins please that would be so awesome if it's not twins that's okay okay so it's a boy <laughs> Can we just like have a little bit more girls? We have so many boys. I just want to have more girls <laughs> as well. Okay, so since the last child was gold duck, uh, if G, H. So the next one will be H. And since it's a boy, we are going to call him Haunter. Haunter is a ghost Pokemon. Haunter. So Haunter Parker. <laughs> <laughs> that has a lovely ring to it. So, that is so cool. Oh, guys, it's only one. We only have one. Oh, guys, now we have another baby in the house. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have another baby. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so, that means since we have another baby and we only had one, we still have one slot open. So, uh, Haunter is asleep. Very, very good. We need to have our next Tim Alexandre come over. <laughs> so we are gonna summon him. Okay, so she is summoning him. Alexandre should be coming over, hopefully. Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes, ready to do the deed. Come on in. Oh, he just invited himself inside. Try for baby with Alexandre. This is so cool, guys. We didn't even have to do anything because we prepped and got him ready for <laughs> when she delivers. So she just delivered a baby and she's gonna do the deed again. Evie, you might wanna you might wanna get out of here. So are they gonna do it? Oh, here they go. Here they go. They're gonna try for baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. This is a golden. I love how she just casually goes to the bedroom. Like, it's her everyday routine. Like, Evie, get out of here! Evie! Yay! 
Lisa Evelyn is pregnant again. Okay guys, so we're gonna leave it off here today. There was a lot that happened. Evelyn gave birth and she also got pregnant once again with baby number nine. So we are on the way. So the baby that we had was a boy and his name is Haunter, uh, which is actually a ghost Pokemon. So yeah, um, I kind of want us to have more girls, but it seems like she likes to get more boys. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think do you like the name that i picked out for him and would you also like to see more girls in the household since we only have ditto uh in the house right now she's the only girl so yeah i would love to hear from you guys in the comments and if you like this video don't be shy give it a thumbs up and if you have not already you know what to do go hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to be informed and updated on the latest and newest videos that i post on my channel and if you have subscribed thank you so so much it really means a lot to me as always all of my friends youtube channels will be linked in the description down below so go and check them out go subscribe show them some love they are very dear friends of mine and if you would like to become a friend of mine and join my global gamers discord as well as the facebook group the links will be in the description so go and click on it and i hope to see you guys there so i hope you guys have a super duper awesome day wherever you are and i will see you all next time bye